here I am wearing my Bohemian Grove trap ski hat that somebody sent us, and uh, next to me is the Anil from 1987 to 1996, and if we zoom in on that, we had a caller yesterday, Chris, that was questioning how could Alex Jones possibly get into the Bohemian Grove, and he was insinuating that Alex was a member, and it was all a conspiracy, and blah, 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 blah. The truth is, in the early 80s, they did do some mainline reporting on the Bohemian Grove, and we have those clips. Uh, they're going to be in my next film, Invisible Empire, which really goes over this globalist new world order agenda tom brokaw talking about it abc news talking about it but in the annal uh, i i want to just show this uh on the prisonplanet.tv really quick and we'll zoom out from it to see what other characters are here but you have a news reporter sitting here and he's also a cartoonist and he sh he's drawing a picture and uh, if you miss this if you're listening go check it out on youtube later uh he's drawing He's, he, he's pretending he's doing the news, but there's the thought bubble behind him, and he's in a robe, and he has a candle. He's a member of the Bohemian Grove, and he's basically talking to everybody. Zoom out a little further, and let's see who our good friends are above him. Oh, look, it's Newt Gingrich and George W. Bush and George H. W. Bush, the very good Christian men. Unbelievable. You know, what do you say to those kind of critics that, you know, they think that everything's a conspiracy. They think because Alex was able to get into the Bohemian Grove, he must be a member or a Vatican assassin. I mean, to me, it's just ludicrous. But to the outsider looking in, how, how do you explain to him? How do you explain to them that's not what happened? Well, I would, uh, you know, I, we've dealt with some of those people as well. We had a woman call and accuse us of being controlled by radical Muslims and left a message on our machine uh, because in our documentaries we hadn't mentioned Islam or, or something. I mean, some people do. I, mean, I think I think Alex Jones and, and you guys, you do a great job uh, because you're very careful to document the things that you're talking about. And we try to do the same thing in our films. Uh, and what, what ends up happening is you put aside a lot of your conspiracy theories if you have a conspiracy theory about something and you go and investigate it sometimes you're wrong you know sometimes you 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 had an idea about something and it just wasn't the right idea um but i, I think that's why it's so careful to document your evidence but those kind of accusations against uh, alex i've seen them against my uh, partner david bay he's been openly accused of being a member of the uh, of the illuminati because we mentioned Sir Francis Bacon, and and uh, there was this whole conspiracy theory that went on about that. Uh, I think it just kind of comes with the territory, mm -hmm. and so uh, we encourage people to be, you know, to be careful uh, to prove all things, as the Bible says. You know, we're Christians, and we we admonish people. The Bible also says, "Accuse no man falsely." So we try to refrain from that and just encourage people to. Uh, uh, seek the truth, and we try to present as much documentation as possible uh, to convict people so that they would go and conduct their own investigation. Exactly. The proof that. is in the pudding, and we put this stuff out there. We source it, and we hope that people check out our source material. That's what this is about. When you talk about the pentagram in Riddles and Stone that's inlaid in the D.C. architecture, of course, with the open segment, you explain mm -hmm. this is a Faustian process and out of one of his plays, correct? Absolutely, and we show that it, you know, it's it's mentioned by a, a very high-ranking Mason, uh, Goethe, the famous German writer in Faust, uh, and he's publishing this broken pentagram in Faust during the same time period that Pierre L'Enfant is doing the street design for Washington D.C. Chris, and thank you so much for joining us. The series is Secret Mysteries of America's Beginning, The New Atlantis, Riddles in Stone, Eye of the Phoenix, and look out for part four, hopefully in the coming months. They're in pre-production now, but I'm sure it's going to be another bang-up video. We'll be back after this. We've got Alan Watt for the full hour. We're going to be taking your calls in the second half hour. It's The Alex Jones Show. I'm Jason Burmis, PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com.